Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to deploy an application uh, using Argo CD. So we are going to do it uh, using the Argo CD web console, as you can see on the screen. And I'll also show you how you can deploy an application using Argo CD CLI. All right. So for to deploy an Argo CD application, you need to have your uh, the deployment code in some Git repository or some version controlling system because it's it's git driven right the the arg deployment via argo cd is actually what you call gitops so it is gitops driven so you need to have your code in in a git based repository it could be but not but uh, bitbucket uh, i'm using github gitlab any anything would do so this is my repo url all right and this has a very simple uh, two files one is a service YAML and another one is I'm creating an Nginx pod. Very basic, nothing special. You can see, I mean, you can create it in like five minutes. This is just for the demo purposes. All right. So we'll go to Argo CD console. You can see the new app tab. Just click on this. Uh, I'll give it a name, say my Nginx app. I'm not able to come up with uh, more unique name project for project I will use default so project is basically uh, something like uh, creating folders for different application right it, it's like that uh, why you have project so I I mean say you are managing multiple application and you want to segregate them in multiple projects so it's basically a way of uh, what you call bookkeeping right so it's, it's just the way of bookkeeping things Sync policy, I'll keep it manual because I will show you how you can uh, basically create because it will uh, not create all these objects until we do a sync from Argo CD. So we'll see that, right? And it'll come down. I think uh, this is too dark, right? So I'll just turn it off. Yeah, much better. So this is basically an extension I use for which gives me uh, dark theme on all the websites even the websites who don't support dark theme so yeah it's better now see it's asking for repository url and it supports git and helm so i'll just copy this and i'll put it over here and path since our code is on uh, i mean the root path we don't have any folders uh, where i mean our code resides so i'll just put a dot over here that says that the code Argo CD should look for in the root path itself. Cluster URL. So since I'm running a local cluster, uh, I'm using this kubernetes.default.svc. If you have a remote cluster, uh, cluster URL for that remote uh, cluster would go in. And for namespace, I would just put in default, right? Although if you are overriding the namespace in your configs, uh, your objects would be created in that namespace. So over here, you can either give default, Argo CD, any namespace you want. And that's pretty much it. So we'll just go ahead and create. And you can see uh, the application is created and it is out of sync, right? So, and you can see it has, I mean, you what whatever I did, Nginx pod and Nginx service. So if I go back to my uh, so this is basically running my <laughs> Argo CD UI. So probably I'll open up a new tab on my terminal. And what I'm going to do is firstly, I need to export the cube config Then only I'll be able to use. So I just want to show you that no pods are created yet. That's what I want to show. And dot cubes config and if i do cube ctl get pods you can see there are there is nothing in the default namespace right so let's go back to our uh, argo and let's run sync and let's do that or let's just synchronize everything right so now when I run a sync, if I would have selected automatic sync, it would have automatically synced my resources, right? So now you can see it is synced. And if I come back to my, you can see we have an Nginx pod, 
let's see service and you can see we have an nginx service so whatever we wanted to do via argo cd it has created and anytime you go ahead and make a change in your git uh, uh, code go code in your git and make a commit to your git uh, you would see that this would go out of sync right and if you have selected automatic uh, sync it will automatically sync it otherwise you would actually have to come to argo and do a manual sync all right so that's how we create it using the ui so now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to delete this app and my nginx app and it is going to delete and you can see now we don't have any application come back over here let's do get pods you can see we don't have any pods and the service by default would be gone right so now let's see we can create this using argo cd uh, cli so argo cd you should be i mean you should have argo cd cli installed uh, i would put the link how to install argo cd cli if i have not shown in the last video i think i showed i don't remember anyways i'll put the link how to install argo cd cli uh, right so you should have argo cd cli installed and if you just do argo cd you should get this so argo cd so we need to create an app so right let me clear the screen and argo cd so i'll just keep hitting enter to see what all options do we need right because i also don't remember on top of my head what options to pass so let's see i think there is one where it requires the repo path somewhere keep looking with me right guys so first thing we need is create because we want to create an app let me clear the screen and let's do argo cd app create again and then it would require so we don't want to auto prune i think it requires somewhere repo so this is the repo it requires and then there would be path right so let's provide that uh, so argo cd create hyphen hyphen repo so i just need to copy the repo url and hyphen hyphen path was this so what all i think we also have to give it project let's see if we had the option of project because it will require project ppp project yeah so project let's put it in default project and what else did we put i think we put in the cluster information so cluster cluster let's just look if it's cluster maybe where is it it's not cluster do we do are they calling it something else destination yeah i think it is uh, let's look at this <laughs> ui right why why waste our time so so repository url is done okay so it's called destination all right so destination so they have destination name destination server so this says k cluster url okay all right so we'll put in so this is okay so they've already given it so we'll just put in over here. so destination server not the cluster server but destination server right and i think the last is destination namespace the last option right namespace destiny it was default so i think these were the only options which we passed when we are doing it via ui so i think we should be good and we are not good so something we have missed and i think i know what i have missed i think we we didn't give our uh, application any name so let's give it a name create uh, my ng 
Nginx app. Invalid. Okay, so Argo CD, I think it is. Yeah, so you also have to log in from uh, CLI, right? Argo CD login, and I, what it's looking for is. To, 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 to. So let me clear the screen. So Argo CD login. I think it should take localhost colon ATT because that is where my okay. So Argo CD server. Yes. Username was admin. Password. And we are successfully logged in. Okay. So it just required the URL of. I mean, where we are accessing our Argo CD locally. So now if we run this command, this should application created. Let's go back to UI, cancel this, and you can see the application is created. Let's go in there and let's sync it. All right, so it is syncing. Let's come back to the tool, kubectl, bots and the pod is running all right so this is pretty much it for this video if you have any questions just put it in the comment and i'll be happy to help and i mean i just i just wanted to remind you guys that uh, i learn with you guys right so it's not that i am a pro in argo cd uh, cli especially because most of the work you know, i do with argo is basically using ui so so i also learn it's fun right i hope you guys enjoy it so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you like the video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.